ever met anyone with that name and is there any kind of story behind it? Nah, I only meet Marquises, like Keith, <laughs> mine like Keith, and my auntie made it up. She just took like Mar and added it to my dad's name. My dad's name is Keith, so I just added that to it. People misspell it all the time, I would yeah, guess. Yeah, they always call me Marquise. <laughs> and then I had to sit in there and say Marquise, T-H, you know. Yeah. So, so where did the Mar come from? Uh, I don't know, my auntie just found it somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks very much. No problem. Thanks. Good luck. Stay one second. Can you tell me about that eight on your chest a little bit? Uh, Coach Kiffin said that he, he likened you a little bit to Dwayne Jarrett. You know the history of Dwayne? Do you follow him at all? Uh, I mean, yeah, I've seen him a lot when he played here, but I mean, we watch film on him all the time, but I don't really know him like that. I never talked to him or nothing, but I like eight. I call myself Ocho Amble, so, you know, I like it. I'm going to stick with it. What kind of receiver do you model yourself after? Uh, some people say I'm like uh, Andre Johnson or something, and I, I watch him a lot. I watch I watch Chad, I watch Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, I watch all the receivers because we got all the tape, so I try to take a little bit from everybody and, and just add it to my game. Coming from a long way away, any culture shock coming out here to L.A.? Uh, yeah, it's kind of, sometimes I'll be down, but I get to call my mom or whatever, and everything is cool after that, and I go talk to the coaches, and they're always there for me, so everything is good. Has it helped you being a part of this uh, little trio of freshman receivers? Are you guys going to grow up together? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we all help each other out with the playbook. We study together and stuff, and whenever we don't know a route, the other, other guy try to help the other guy out, and we just all compete. Do you take pride as a class? I mean, you feel like you guys are going to be the, the next generation of great USC receivers? Yeah, we all saying that. We're trying, to, we're trying to bring another national championship back here, you know. How has Ronald Johnson helped you and the the, the, uh, the senior receivers helped you uh, grow into your spot? Oh, yeah, Rose always there. He always ready to study and go watch film with us and show me how to run this route and all that. I mean, he ain't, he ain't never not try to help me out, you know. He always wants to study with me, you know. You were with Coach Kiffin. You were going to be with Coach Kiffin at Tennessee. You come to USC with him. What was it about him that uh, bred that loyalty in you? Uh, I just, when I first met Coach, I mean, we clicked and cool. And we was, it was cool. We had a great relationship. And he had a great staff at Tennessee. So, like, I just had committed to him. And I told him I was going to go wherever he go. And then when all the little situation had happened, I just knew I was going to come to SC with him because I already liked the SC. And he just tipped it off right there. How's your chemistry with Barkley? Looking for you? Yeah, Barkley's cool. I mean, I've been in there with the ones, and he's been throwing it. He's got a great arm. I'm happy to be here with a great quarterback.